Hello everybody, this is Michael, KE4EST, and I'm working on a Yezu FT920. I just wanted you to kind of get this here. Let me look. It's just really interesting. Now look at this here now, look at all these bodges. They went after the thought, after the fact, and found this problem or that problem. And got to add this and add that. That's an early production one there. Here's a later production one. I can't really get them side by side when I'm set up here, but look at this here. This has got this bodge here, the other one don't have, the other one don't have this. Um, mm, the other one don't have this bodge here. This is completely different. The other one had, if you remember this, go back, a little cable coming down here. This one, they've just completely... They've got a transistor, a fed or something right here. Can't oh, just about to see the numbers on that. <laughs> got my glasses on. That's that. And we got this one right here. The other one had a bodge. But they just got a resistor and a capacitor. This one. I'm not sure what exactly they got going on here. <clears throat> this one they've went in right here. Added that. Those two capacitors they've added there. And this resistor. Here. These two resistors. This resistor. These two resistors. I'm looking back. The other one I'll have this. Got a couple of wires coming down here. Get a wire right here. So, very, very, very interesting. And it's interesting to see how, especially something this complex, you go in and you design it and design it and run a couple of them and design it. Get a couple of boards made up, you know, fill the board and do some tests on it and run into this problem, that problem, this problem. Okay, let's change this, 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 and this, and change that. And so they go back and make some modifications to the circuit board. And get that one done. And get it stuffed. And then, you know, okay, I think we pretty much got it here. Oh, except for right here, we need to add this. So they're like, you know what? Because it costs money, especially back then. Let's come out in the early 90s. To, uh... Or no, way, 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 way. It was more late 90s when the FT920 came out, wasn't it? It costs more to have another production run, you know, a few sample boards than what it does now. So, and you got to pay somebody to go through all this and, you know, design it up and everything. So, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and run this board. It's fine, but we got to change this and this. And that's it. And a lot of times you'll see that, these little bodges. They go back and add something there. But this one, wow, they went to town on. And you can see, you know, from the other one, you know, big difference. And a few little bodges here and there. And this, you know, there's some wires I just haven't got hooked up yet, but i got to put a shield on the other one. But a couple wires here and there, you know, whatever. There's that, like I said, that one bodge there. This. And over here you know no big deal but then as they you know people was reporting this they started selling them is what's happened see here's what's happened they started selling them. they put them on the sales floor put them on the, you know on the HRO and AES magazines back at the time and everybody you know going to the ham fest and everybody's like oh go get me a 920 wow I really like these 920s and they started running into problems and this problem and that problem and this problem and that problem because you can go in and you can sit there 
and you can because I've designed you know written software before on something I've went through everything I can think of to throw at it to get it to break or get it to you know do something weird or whatever go through it and go through it. just go through it I think you know what I've got this as soon as I send it to a friend of mine I say here check this out so if you think about this he'll come up with three bugs or you know sometimes they're not really what I call a bad bug in the software where it just completely crashes or whatever but one little you know tiny thing maybe a display issue where it should be showing some little thing on display and it's not showing the time it's supposed to be you know so it'll work without it but you know there's little things I just didn't catch and then you get in something's got this is full of software it's got a big microcontroller on it it's on the other side and then you got all you know this too the hardware with it and hundreds of these things going out and then you got people say hey you know and they say well send it to Yezu send it back to us we'll look at it and then these technicians are starting to find some of the same problems over and over and to fix it they so here's what we need to do here's what we need to do now of course I don't know exactly on this particular unit I don't know the story behind this this could also be where somebody's went back in themselves and modified a couple things to their own liking uh, you know and stuff like that but you know uh, you will see this a lot of times especially when it's later because I'm looking at the number on this board and it's a later production or you know the serial number on the radio this one came out of it's a later production so same board but they you know a few little bodges on this one time they're getting to these they're going ahead and adding some, a lot of this stuff where it goes out the door so anyway I thought you'd find that interesting here I'm trying to get this Yezu FT920 it's been sick for a little while it's got a bad motherboard or the main board in it. it's got a bad uh, something really crazy going on with the CPU and you know with the microcontroller contacted Yezu they don't you know they're not set up anymore to program those chips or anything so it's swap it out with another one so anyway I hope this you found this a little bit interesting um, it's always interesting to find these when you have that anyway say so 73 to everybody this is Michael K4EST